Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows, and we are going to be talking about what has just been announced via the CW. Some massive stuff has gone down, and we're going to talk about this all in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the big news is, we've got the schedule for the next seasons of the DC TV shows, which are obviously on the CW, and also there's some other big stuff that was released today, including a poster for Superman and Lois, I believe some synopsises are out there somewhere, and there are a few new things, including a crossover being announced between Batwoman and Superman and Lois, but that is going to be tomorrow's video, so don't go anywhere, stick around till tomorrow. But today we're going to be talking about the schedules and everything that is happening, so massive news. Starting with Sunday night, Batwoman is in Supergirl's normal time slot, so at 9, 8 central on the CW. So Batwoman is still on a Sunday night, Charms comes after it, no Supergirl on a Sunday now, we'll get to that in a minute. Monday. Black Lightning is on at 9, 8 central, nothing too big there. The Flash is at its normal time slot at 8, 7 central on a Tuesday. And a big change is Superman and Lois is going to be coming after The Flash. So that's very exciting news. Superman and Lois has a set time slot and set day, which is Tuesday, 9, 8 central after The Flash. It's a curious choice to have it at 9, 8 central because, you know, normally when it's 9, 8 central, you kind of think, oh, it's going to be a bit darker, but I don't think it's going to be that much darker. I think it's a case of like Supergirl and Batwoman. Both of them aren't very dark. You know, some say Batwoman's a bit darker, but it's not really that much darker to be honest so i don't think that is any telling sign about superman and lois but it's just really exciting to see that they are fully coming this is going to be an actual show that is going to be premiering this year well actually not this year and we'll get to that right now so the big news excluding superman and lois and the time slot changes and apart from the missing shows which we'll get to in a second is that none of our dc tv shows are coming back in the fall so in autumn in october when they normally return no show is coming back the cw is going to have a completely different lineup and this is due to what's happening in the world and due to filming so all the shows are going to start at the mid-season where they would normally be halfway through their season around January time. So this is massive news, we are not getting any more shows past our finales, excluding Stargirl which is starting in the summer until 2021. So it's a long time until we gotta wait because The Flash is finished now, we won't see an episode of The Flash till 2021. And what month is it right now? It's currently May. So you got June, July, August, that is three months, and then you got September, October, normally five months, so we normally have about a five month break until we return till October, and then we add on to that November and December, so that is two extra months, so that's seven months until we see The Flash return, and also that applies to all the shows, but it's going to be longer for some of the other shows, and those shows are Legends of Tomorrow and Supergirl. If you noticed, on the Sunday time slot, it's Charmed, it's not Supergirl, and things have changed. What is going on? Supergirl is not there. Why is it not there, you may ask? Well, so what we've been recently reporting on is that Melissa was set to have maternity leave, and this would have been accommodated by the fact that they were initially supposed to start filming in April, end in June, and that would have been about five episodes or so footage, and then Melissa would go on her maternity leave and return around the end of October slash November. So what has happened with Supergirl? It's not on there. It's not on the mid-season premiere date where all these other shows are returning, including Black Lightning, The Flash, and also Batwoman and Superman and Lois is premiering then, but Supergirl isn't. So. I believe what they're doing is they're going to wait to the mid-season for all of our other shows and they will begin at a summer release date, so around May time, I reckon is when they're going to start Supergirl, maybe April, May, I don't know, it could be anything like that, but I do believe Supergirl is not going to be delayed until the whole way through till next year when all of our other shows are finished. 
I think Supergirl and Legends are going to come at that summer release date around April, May time, and that's when you will get to see them. So I reckon they'll start filming on time, and they'll start filming when they were originally set to return to filming for Supergirl around November time. They'll get up all the footage, they'll start filming when all the other shows are airing their episodes in 2021, and they will start compiling those episodes, making those episodes, and I think most of the episodes are probably going to be done by the time they get to summer, because at the summertime that's when the actors normally get their break for about I don't know three to four weeks or so so I reckon they're not gonna continue filming into the summer I reckon most of the shows not all of them I reckon the flash will probably be 20 to 22 episodes as per normal but I reckon most of the other shows including Supergirl are going to have shorter length seasons and I think the reason for Supergirl having a shorter length season would definitely be down to the fact that they don't want to film all the way into summer because you know normally they film from July and they go all the way around till April time and then that's when they stop filming and Supergirl doesn't have that amount of time because they start in November I don't think they're gonna to want to go all the way through till like June time so I would say they're gonna film probably less episodes and they're going to write that into the season rather than cutting the season short like all the shows did this year obviously they can help that so it seems like that is the best possible route for Supergirl to go start filming in November get those episodes down and done and then they stop filming around May time maybe April time just with a shorter season though so I would say probably episode 15 is probably going to be the finale or something like that so don't be expecting a 20 episode season from Supergirl when Supergirl returns however there is a possibility that Supergirl could be delayed until the fall of next year so that would be a long time I would say that's very unlikely and I would say that's very unlikely for Legends I do really believe that they are going to be airing their episodes in the summertime so around April May but there is still a possibility that they may actually delay it until the fall of next year so you know October time when they normally air but I think Supergirl may from now on become a sort of show that runs in the summer potentially and they may get shorter seasons however they could change the schedule remember this schedule is effective as of right now things could change Supergirl could actually fit into the mid-season slot depending on how everything goes especially to do with Melissa's maternity leave because that's a big factor in all of this so if anything comes up you know I think there is a possibility that they could start in the mid-season for Supergirl I don't see Legends starting in the mid-season. I think for Legends, they will start filming normal time like they did this season. They started filming in July, but they didn't air their first episode until Crisis. And then after that, they aired those episodes in January. So this year, rather than filming this year, they filmed at the end of the summer last year. And that's how I think they're going to do it this year as well. So I would say, don't worry about Supergirl. Don't worry about Legends. They are all coming back because they have been confirmed for their seasons and they're all contracted to still stick around anyway so there is no cancellations for them just because they haven't popped up in this schedule doesn't mean they're not coming they're coming probably in the summer release dates when say like Stargirl is starting this year so don't worry about that at all but yeah so our shows aren't going to be coming back in 2020 they're going to be coming back in 2021 so we will have to wait a long time until at least January for Black Lightning, for The Flash, for the premiere of Superman and Lois and also for Batwoman and we'll have to wait longer for Supergirl and Legends of Tomorrow. Just before we finish off this video I just wanted to quickly mention another report coming from Deadline and so this is in regards to Mark Pedowitz, the head of the CW, the president and what he has been saying about the Green Arrow and the Canary spin-off. So they have just recently greenlighted and ordered like a whole series run of some other shows on the CW and Green Arrow and the Canaries wasn't one of them and this has been set up and we are very much so expecting this to actually happen. However, things aren't looking too well. But then Mark Pedowitz comes in with this. So this is a quote from Deadline and they say, they are very much in active discussions, so he's talking about the 100 spin-off as well, but we're mainly talking about Green Arrow and the Canaries because it's DC TV. So these discussions are going on, and they're very much active. I've had many discussions with Warner Brothers, and we have a strategy involved. Hopefully we can pull it off, he said, 
and this was during you know the network's full schedule report which i literally just talked about so you know there is very much so hope for this show and i wouldn't worry about it too much i think there is a high potential that is going to get a series run i don't know if it's going to be you know as in this year or next year or it could be the year after we'll have to wait and see but it's still in the running but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos and remember come back tomorrow we've got to talk about the superman and lois poster the logo and also the fact that the cw is plotting a superman and lois crossover with Batwoman. That's going to be nuts. I can't wait to talk about that tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.